Alright, so um, here in this video we are going to demo how to use Bootstrap. So if we go to Bootstrap, this one here, and this one is not using any um, framework, this is just plain HTML. So now we want to get bootstrap, so we will get this CSS here, right, and then this JavaScript here for the jQuery uh, functionality. So usually the script will be at the bottom. Uh, yeah okay so that's it and uh, to, to check if this is working uh, we are going to launch this uh, so here basic bootstrap so HTTP server uh, you can install this HTTP server by doing npmig HTTP server so this is a node application that will be installed in your local and I already installed it so I will just call this one here HTTP server and it will give me a link to my uh, bootstrap so this is the our bootstrap now this empty bootstrap so we will uh, uh, create a button here well, this is a bootstrap button so this are MD SM for small MD for medium and uh, LG for large so we will use uh, medium so this is uh, this this is a button Okay, and uh, control hard refresh. So this is now a button here, but because we didn't put like the color, so it will be uh, we will put the primary there and control hard refresh. So this is the button, and if we are going to apply the the layout capabilities of Bootstrap. You can do something like this, call MD6. So these are, there's a total of col 12 columns uh, in in a raw. Here, like for example, you can do a class call MD12. So 12 means it will be a raw raw wide layout here and if we want to add a color here so say um, bg uh, raw wide bg so or no bg so something like that if we add a class like that and then we add a style here locally style um, Okay, so this is uh, SESS is too advanced for noobs. So I'll just put like just a CSS. Then back background color is say gold, and color is um, color is black, and then padding is twenty px. So that means pixels. So if we refresh this uh, okay so there you go we have a row wide um, is it row wide layout here but I don't know why it's is it Ross should be Ross yeah okay so it's Ross and uh, since we don't have a link here so we should link our locally created style so put our style here and then refresh so we now have reference to our local style 
and if we want to download this and not use the CDN we can do something like this uh, save this and put this in our uh, SAS and bootstrap so here okay so we put that there so instead of of this that is pointing to the CDN we will point to our bootstrap min locally so remove that and this should still be working alright so yeah it's not working here remove that and put it there okay, so it's back so this is the reference to the bootstrap look that is now locally pointed and this is the style here our custom style and uh, yeah I believe that's all for now so if we want to add form here this is a bonus track input text class form control if we refresh that we have a form control here and if we put a placeholder here say hey hey bro so it will put a hey bro here and if we um, uh, put a class here like my form class and open on the side and we put a padding there padding of 20 pixels so yeah it put a padding here okay so yeah i think that's it thank you and don't forget to like and subscribe bye